I get to be a part of an unprecedented microgravity laboratory, a big, super cool laboratory with all these different facilities and these experiments, they get to float. It's the only place on earth you can do experiments with, with gravity being gone. I get to train the astronauts that go to the space station, and I also get to work in mission control. When you go to school to become an engineer, you're taught to think critically, um, you're taught to solve problems, and you're taught to think outside the box to get a job done. And all of those skills I have to use here at my job on a daily basis. When I was in middle school, IT was not what it is today. Not, not by a, a landslide. Um, we studied DOS <laughs> in, our, in our sixth grade computer science classes. I didn't really know about engineering or science, technology. I didn't know about STEM fields. I think engineering is really solving problems, figuring out ways to solve problems. Engineering is inventing and coming up with new ideas. I would say that I loved math. I loved everything about math, but I just couldn't see exactly how I would use math in my everyday um, life once I you know, grew up and, and got a job. And it's actually one of the foundations to what I do today. We have to figure out what is the right amount of breathing air to give an astronaut while they're in the spacesuit. Um, if we don't miscalculate or we do our math incorrectly, then the astronaut will not get enough breathing air. There are days where my job is to go out and spend the entire day outside in a field either holding a button so that if the robot does something bad I can make it stop or testing out my software or helping other colleagues test out their software. So it's a great day when you actually get to spend your day outside testing things out that you developed and they worked and everything was successful. It's such an exciting thing to think about is the idea of, of humans living and breathing in an environment completely independent of Earth um, in some place that's six months away. Scientists these days are some of the most diverse people I've seen. I think the old stereotype of the white lab coat and the, you know, the pocket protector and the glasses is probably out. In fact, I know some pretty cool women with stiletto heels who are scientists and I think they're, I think they're fantastic. Right now we have a space station. Um, we've been to the moon. Well, we need to set up a base on the moon. We need to set up a base on Mars. And so we, we always think ahead to the next step. Even though we may not have people there yet, um, we're, we're trying to, to bridge that gap to get us to those places. As a woman, you can do anything you put your heart to. Like, don't let anyone limit you. Don't let anyone hold you back. You should always strive for everything that you want. If you want something, go out there and get it. Don't let anyone hold you back or anything hold you back. You are someone, and you are somebody that can make a big difference in this world, and you just have to go out there and do it. I also love the idea that I'm working on a human mission to Mars. The work that I do will have helped put a human on another planet. Technology can be intimidating, but what I can say is there's a technology for everybody. 
there's, there's something. We're doing things that nobody's ever done before. We're developing brand new things that have never, you know, before two years ago, didn't exist. And we're making them better and making them into something that we can actually use. And that's really cool. Just because it hasn't been done before doesn't mean that it can't. Just because there aren't more women sitting in that room doesn't mean that there never will be. And that you have the power to change that. Take advantage of every opportunity that you can. Make sure that you do what makes you happy and that you pick something that you are truly interested in. You just have to take a step back and look at the big picture and realize that at the end of the day, you're working for something that's really great.